hello, I've got a Tesla Model 3 with an LFP battery. And the range of the electric car is very important. And we all know over a lifetime of the battery, the range does decline. And the range you get out of your electric car also depends on how you drive it and the different roads you drive on. Hello, I'm Nigel. Thanks very much for joining me today. I hope you can like and subscribe and please leave any comments down below. So maybe you're thinking of buying an electric car or you already have one and you're comparing notes on how your EV compares with mine. That's brilliant. Everybody's welcome. So I'm going to give you some facts and figures of the range of my LFP Tesla Model 3 model I bought two years ago. So if you buy a new Tesla Model 3 today in the UK, it will cost you £42,990, much dearer than most places in the world because of our VAT. And that's in white. The range on the touchscreen will be 305 miles, according to Tesla. Now, when I ordered my Tesla two years ago, it said it would arrive with 278 miles on the touchscreen. It didn't. It arrived with 263. 16,800 miles later, my range when fully charged is 251 miles. A loss of 12 miles, a little over a 4% degradation, and a little bit more than Tesla say it should be. But Tesla and all the experts say the degradation will slow down, and I do agree that my degradation is slowing down. I've calculated the battery will last at least 397 miles at the current rate, which will improve as the graph shows the slowing down degradation curve. And I have seen it slow down recently. And also people have commented on the battery will outlast the body, which is good to know. So if you're thinking of buying a used Tesla, and I certainly would if I was buying mine now, as they're much cheaper than they used to be two years ago, I would ask the seller to fully charge the car to see what the maximum range is on the touchscreen. But of course, how you use or drive the car affects its performance and its efficiency. So if we have a look at the touchscreen. So the trip distance since I've had the car is 240 watts per mile, which would give me a real world range of 208 miles, which is obviously a lot less than Tesla say it should do. And that is the average since I've had the car. The trip A shows 218 watts per mile, which would give a range of 230 miles. A couple of days ago, I recorded uh, this at 189 watts per mile since my last charge, giving me a range of 264 miles, which is more than the 251 it says um, my Tesla should do on the touchscreen. So obviously how you drive the car and the roads you drive on affect the miles you'll get out of it. And the 240 since I've had the car is on motorways, uh, going up to Scotland and driving down to Portugal. And frankly, you do want to get from A to B as fast as you possibly can. But of course, it's not good for the efficiency of the car. Uh, trip A was over 94 miles, gave me... Uh, 230 miles and that was driving in Cornish roads exclusively no motorways at all and of course the um, since the last charge where I had the 189 watts per mile that was just local driving and um, 20 miles an hour a lot of it and so obviously this sort of car would be great for a taxi driver uh, but I, I'm more than happy with 240 uh, watts per mile as an average um, the range may be only, what, 208 miles, but that's fine because 208 miles is a good three hours driving in this country, unless you're driving at three in the morning. And I'm ready for a break, and the time it takes me to get a break is the time it takes. So I pretty much charge at home 100% with the LFP battery. Not so much on the Tesla superchargers, it depends if anyone's waiting. Um, but of course, the, the Tesla tells you when you've got enough charge to get to your next destination. And that's what it wants. It manages people. It wants you to charge when the charging is the fastest and then send you on to the next charger. Uh, and that's fine with me. I sometimes go a little bit over what Tesla say. I've never had anyone waiting. If I did, uh, I'm not one of those people who wants to stop people waiting. 
but I hope you may have found this useful. I do hope so, uh, to give you some sort of idea of what a two-year-old Tesla Model 3 range is in the real world. And obviously it depends so much on the roads you're driving on and of course how you drive it. I hope you can like and subscribe and uh, please leave any comments below. Uh, please don't forget to use your reusable tea or coffee mug wherever you go. Uh, thanks very much for watching and getting this far and I hope I'll see you next time and please take a look at my other videos. Thanks very much. See ya. Bye.